What's going on YouTube for us here? Hope you guys are doing well. And this video might seem premature to some. And I say it might be premature to some because Season 2 released like a month ago. We've had a month to get used to ranked play. We've had less than a week with the brand new map. But with all of that being said, I don't think we can look back at Season 2 of Modern Warfare 2 and think it's a success. Heck, we can't even look back at Season 1 of Modern Warfare 2 and think it was a success. So what do we need to do to get Season 3 to be a success? To steer Modern Warfare 2 into a positive direction. A direction that can actually make this franchise good again. And I think it starts with the most crucial season for all of Call of Duty, which is Season 3. This is the turning of the page from winter to spring. This is when less people are going to be hunkered down inside playing video games and more people are going to be outside. Especially myself, you know, this is when golf season starts here, patios start opening up, I've got to do all of my yard work because that's something I'm super passionate about. And there's just less time for gaming. And I'm not going to spend time on gaming if I'm just disappointed with my experience here with Modern Warfare 2. The truth is, I want to spend time inside playing video games. I want to have a desire to sit down and waste a full Saturday playing Call of Duty. But there's just no incentive right now. Because they haven't made an incentive for Modern Warfare 2. So instead, I want to talk about what they can do to actually make the community a little bit more invested in the future of Modern Warfare 2. I know I talked about this in a previous video a little bit about being transparent. But... I want to move away from that and instead I want to talk about kind of micro, on a micro level, talk about what I'd like to see in Season 3 because I think Season 3 can be what this game needs to really prop it up through the spring months here. So let's talk first and foremost about content that this season needs. It needs more maps. Simple as that. We had two remakes in Shoot House and Shipment in Season 1. We had Dome which has been remade in basically every Infinity Ward game that I can think of in one way or another. And we had the new Expo map that was released last week. It's just not enough content. Especially when you look at a live service game, they're not injecting enough new life into the game to get people excited. So instead, the way you can get people excited about Call of Duty is injecting some old life, but allowing some new life to foster there as well. So this is what I propose for Season 3. You're going to have a Season 3 Day 1 update and a Season 3 Mid Update, just like we have now. The Day 1 update is going to host three maps, okay? All maps we've seen before. A map from Call of Duty 4 called Ambush, one of my favorites. Great map, super fun to play, will play very well here in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, don't love doors, but... I mean, it might be okay with doors. From Modern Warfare 2, we're going to see the first remaster from Modern Warfare 2 here in Modern Warfare 2. And it's not going to be the typical high-rise or terminal, even though we've looked at, you know, past games. And that's what Infinity Ward's done, is they love to pull maps that we've played so many times over and over again. It's not even going to be Favela. No, no, no. For this, it is going to be the map Rundown. And I know for some of you, you guys might be like, that's a weird choice. That's a bad choice. I disagree. Rundown is one of my favorite maps in the game. I have a personal connection to it. It was the first map I ever got a nuke on. But th th that's not, no, that's neither here nor there. I think Rundown would play very well in this game because one, there's not a lot of doors on the map. But number two, it's a simplistic three lane map that I think you could actually develop into a pretty good competitive map. And that's what this game needs. It needs more competitive maps because the Call of Duty League is kind of a little stale because there's just not a lot of competitive maps. Whereas I think Rundown could play pretty dang competitively. Be a little slow at times, especially in a map like um, game mode like Search and Destroy. But as a map as a whole, it's a pretty decent map. And I've always liked it. I've always wanted to see it brought back into another game. And I think this is a perfect opportunity. The third map they're bringing back is going to be from Modern Warfare 3. And that map is, of course, Arkadin. One of my favorites from that game. And it's a pretty complex map. There's a lot going on. But with that map, it was always fun. It was always chaotic. And I, it was an enjoyable map to play. And if it's not Arkadin they bring back, I'd like to see them bring back Sea Town. Another map, again little bit chaotic but it was a ton of fun to play so i'd like to see them you know bring back either of those maps because 
Frankly, I'm tired of seeing Dome. I'm tired of seeing the same old maps brought back in every single game. The other thing they're going to do is they're going to give us one brand new map at the first dose of this update. One brand new map. Don't care what it is. It's just going to be a very tiny map. Something small. I don't want to see, you know, rust size map is what I'd like to see. I don't want to see them bring back rust. I want to see them make a map that's as small as rust. That's as claustrophobic as rust. That is as chaotic as rust can be. I want that here in Modern Warfare 2. And I want them to develop one that is small and enjoyable to play. Because I know that's really hard. Which leans me into the next part of what's going to happen at the end of Season 3. So, the, the mid-Season 3 update. So, we're going to get four maps at launch of Season 3. Midway through Season 3, coming off the reins of that really, really small map that I was talking about, they're going to release Face Off. The game mode that I've been wanting to have here in Modern Warfare 2 for quite some time. I love this game mode. Tiny maps, claustrophobic, super fun. 3v3, a ton of fun. I loved it in Black Ops Cold War. I want to see it return here in Modern Warfare 2. And I think there's no better time than middle of Season 3 to bring it back. Integrate the map that was put in for 6v6. Integrate it into Face-Off. And then bring us three new Face-Off maps alongside of it. You get four maps in Face-Off. You have a wealth of new content as well in 6v6. You bring in new challenges. And to top it all off. In this mid-season update, because I don't expect them to do it in the next month, in the mid-season update, the UI is finally fixed. There we go. There you have it. That is how to make Season 3 the best season of Modern Warfare 2. Four maps at the start of Season 3, face-off integration at the middle part, the mid-season update, along with a huge UI overhaul and making the UI magnificent. Because I think they can do it. I trust that they can make a good UI. The UI they have right now is horrible. And I hope, I hope that they make a change and an adjustment moving forward. Anyways, that's what I'd like to see in Season 3. Obviously, I'm not going to have much influence here. But I'd love to hear what you guys want to see in Season 3. Because, as I said at the start of this video, I'd like to see them start to go on the right track moving forward here. And I think it starts with a really solid Season 3. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see in Season 3 down below in the comment section. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Bye.